Hey guys, today I want to talk about how to select a programming language from the beginning when you want to start your career or a framework uh, to learn after the programming language. So basically yesterday I got a question from Subham Gupta on my YouTube channel that uh, he is confused whether to start with Kotlin or Flatter. So, Normally, normally what I do when I want to select a particular technology, I do a little bit research and that is what I suggested to him that do some little bit research. The first question is asked for before choosing a technology that what do you want to do after learning or having some expertise knowledge on that particular technology. So, if you want to do jobs, the next question comes that whether you want to do jobs in your local market or maybe uh, a remote job in any country from your home country. And if you do not want to do job, do you want to do freelance work? So these are the some common question and you need to do some research. So normally what I do, if I just want to do freelance work and I want to know that whether uh, there is enough freelance uh, projects available or not I just go to the Upwork and then I search for example here in the Upwork if I search Android and if uh, if I search I found that there are 7183 jobs available in Upwork and uh, after you search you just check the keyword that is it native or hybrid so you will get an idea so for example I just write here um, Upwork Upwork, uh, free Upwork, Android, 7,183. Uh, 7, and then maybe you can search uh, Flutter. Okay. So if you search Flutter, you will see there are 1,297 uh, jobs. So I type Flutter, 12,970, uh, uh, sorry, 1,297 jobs in Upwork available. So if you want to compare all other uh, mobile platform, for example, if you want to compare with iOS, you just search here and you will also see there are 6797 jobs or projects are available in Upwork. I also write that one 6797. So, after you search this high level, then you can do some more research that if you want to do suppose iOS type jobs or project that what uh, specific technology you need to learn. So you will get the idea for example from this job a senior iOS developer needed for a growing company with more than 70 apps uh, Firebase, Swift, Objective-C you have to know. So similarly you will get some idea. So then you can search on Stack Overflow. So here Stack Overflow I search uh, Android. Android is better because in Android application development, you can use either uh, Java programming language or Kotlin. So if I search and location anywhere, so I'm seeing that here are 638 jobs available. Stack Overflow. So let's write a bit. Stack Overflow and Android uh, 638. If I search Flutter, it is 94 hmm. so flutter is 94 also please remember that uh, the jobs posted on stack overflow is full-time remote job not a freelance project what i have seen before anyway so now you can come to um linkedin jobs section and here you can search i already searched flutter and worldwide it is showing that 14,000. so linkedin um, flatter 14869 and then if I search Android uh, some Android jobs maybe uh, can contain flatter as well in their job description but normally Android uh, Android means the native Android technology so you see Android 281743 if I specifically search Kotlin Let's see, it is still showing 45,000, huge, right? Kotlin, 45,704. 
So similarly, you can also search in angel.co. Uh, the many startup company post their jobs on this site. So you can search here as well. So you come to in angel.co and in the job section. Here you can also search for example Flutter and you can uh, uh, give some location if you want to look for remote job maybe Australia, Canada, United States, United Kingdom and here you see there are 5815 or not uh, I have to give the keyword sorry Flutter. So there are 53 jobs angel.co Flutter. 53 if I search um, Kotlin it is 9 basically normally jobs title does not mention Kotlin so it is better to search just Android or Android developer yeah 337 so Android 337 and yeah so this is the primary research you have to do that uh, First, you have to target whether you want to do the job in your local market or remote job. If you live in a country like Bangladesh, India, Pakistan or maybe in any country, try to the popular job site in your particular location and then do a bit research that what kind of jobs are mostly available. Also, you can ask this question to your senior, uh, some senior developers if you know that wh what kind of jobs are available in the market and then you have to decide that what you should do that local job or you should target the remote job in foreign country and then uh, you can do the research in different websites and after that now you got the idea that uh, in android has more jobs compared to flutter because yeah most of the big companies or small company even small companies they they will use uh, native technology because there are some a benefit to use native technology to develop application for iOS platform or Android platform. So that's why the, we see that Android has more jobs compared to Flutter. But uh, if you like Flutter, that's also okay. There are few jobs I see, though the number is small. But if you become very expert on any technology, maybe Flutter or native Android application or native iOS application development, you will basically manage to get freelance works or job and after that what you should do you should target six months minimum learn everything or from the fundamental try to learn some advanced features and create maybe a or one or two applications and deploy in the uh, app store or google play store so that when you apply the job or for the freelance project you can showcase that this is what you have created also it's a good idea if you create some open source library and upload the code in github uh, so that you can showcase your open source code so i hope this will give you the idea that how to do a bit research and then decide what to learn but no matter which technology you target, maybe Flutter or iOS or maybe native Android, uh, if you get enough skill and if you can develop some application and showcase to your potential uh, uh, job provider or project provider, I think you can convince them and so that they can uh, hire you. Okay, I hope it helps.